Greetings and welcome back everyone to Stardew Valley. It is the 8th of winter, it is Monday, and it is the Festival of Ice today. So we've got to head to Cindersnap Forest a little bit later in order to take part in that. Let's go check on what's going on on TV. Living off the land. If you uh, have adult barn animals and space left in your barn, there's always a chance one of your animals could give birth. It's something to keep in mind. Fortune teller. Ooh, very displeased today. That's not so good. And the weather report. Expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Morning, Leah. I'm going to take the nature walk today. I need to get out of the house. Ah, sure. I hope you have a lovely day. Uh, do we have goat cheese? Of course we do, because I keep the goat cheese for you specifically. That's exactly what I want. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, do I have anything I want to drop off? Uh, ooh, I do have uh, some uh, tomatoes. Uh, anything else? Oh, no, we're keeping the grapes. Um, let's drop off some eggplants. I think that's all we're going to pop in there. Let's go see Gwen. Gwen is sleeping. Right, we've got some produce that we can throw into the produce bin. Oh, and there's a letter as well. I imagine that'll be something to do with the festival today. Goodbye, produce. Into the produce bin you go. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Good. Yeah, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Right. Okay, what's our letter today? Hey, I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back room that Jojo Mart ages ago before they shut down. Oh, actually, I really like this. Thank you very much, Shane. Speaking of that, nom. There we go. Ah, Shane gives good presents. Right, let's go and say hello to Snufkin. And, oh, my, um, my watering can will be with Clint today. Hello. How are you all doing, my lovelies? Hopefully very well. Nice and warm, I imagine, thanks to that heater. Though, uh, I'm not sure if it's coded that way, or if it's just random chance, but I like to imagine that they're all clustered around the heater, because they are genuinely just, you know, enjoying the warmth. Just rubbing up against the heater. On that note, better check the thermostat, make sure it's not, like, set to crazy, crazy hot, and they might burn themselves. No, 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 wouldn't want that. Uh, do we have any mushrooms? We do indeed. We have four commons. Ooh, good. We might be able to make something for George. Even though I don't need to make something for George, it makes me happy to give him presents that he likes. Uh, ooh, we've got a little bit of wall damage in the barn area. We're going to have to check that out. Uh, we've only got four spaces in my inventory right now. Let me go and drop off some of this produce and then head back there. Uh, doop, there we go. And there we are. We'll drop these eggs off. We're actually starting to get a collection of eggs. My lord. That is interesting. I really wish I could, like, build one of those shipping bins. I would so happily move a shipping bin down here and build it in my industrial area. Honestly, uh, I had some amazing advice in the comments um, a couple of episodes ago now. I forgot to mention it at the time, but someone suggested that in my next series, I build the, the industrial area right next to the house and the shipping bin to reduce the amount of walking I have to do. I, it, I, I've got nothing to say other than I'm stupid, and that should have been so obvious to me, and yet... Uh, <laughs> I felt a bit dumb. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I've got a bit of a frog stuck in my throat. I'm just going to have to cough a second. There we go. I feel a bit better now. Right, let's uh, drop these off. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. We will get rid of the common and the mayonnaise. I will be heading down to the festival shortly. But first, I'm going to pop a houseplant into the house. Where all good houseplants should go. There go. I really like the amount of plants we've got in the house. I want to get more plants for my house, honestly. I've only got about four or five at the moment. And across the whole house, is not actually that much when you think about it. Most of them are in the same room as well. I need to... Well, it's, it's a problem of uh, space to put the plants in my other rooms. But I fancy making a little bit of room, getting a small potted plant in my bedroom. There we go. Thank you very much, Bill. Oh. Sorry, Barney. 
Uh, out the way. Oh, oh. And Evelina had milk, though. There we go. All of the milk has been milked. We can drop this off. Now, I'm thinking prior to going to the festival, I really should head... Oh, there's so much stuff here. I really should head and grab my watering can if I can. Otherwise, I might miss out on the opportunity to get it today, which would be a little bit bad. So I'm going to go and do that right now. I'm going to go head straight down using the buses to Clint's place. See if I can pick up my watering can. Hopefully, he'll give it to me on a day where there's a festival. If not, well, you know, it's a risk I'm willing to take right now. Grab this plant on the way. Grab this plant on the way. I'm not going to take the wiggly worms, though. Uh, to the town. Or oh, maybe I will, because there's like 8 million of them there. My lord. It's locked. Poop! Uh, okay. Bus stop. Ah, huh? you thought you got away, wiggly worms? No! Thank you. An arrowhead. Alright, I'll check that out in a moment. Some clay. And some mixed seeds. Hmm. I have actually had that one before. Okay. Well, we'll go to Cinderstat Forest through the farm. I'll keep the crocus. Uh, I won't keep the mixed seeds, though. Frankly, don't need them. Right. Akasha, do you want to come to the festival today? I think you do, but you never get allowed to. I'm, I'm a little bit... I feel a little bit bitter about that. Having to leave Akasha behind all the time, then go off and have fun. I don't feel this is the right thing to do. Ah, uh, but here we are. Hmm. Nature walk turned into ice sculpting? Oh, ice. A beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent. Uh, I know, but just because something lasts isn't why it's beautiful. Well, I guess that might make the argument better. Yeah, exactly. I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? Indeed! It's rare that Willy ever loses, though, except for last year. <laughs> not to blow my own trumpet or anything. But may the best, most marvellous man win. Or woman, actually, considering that Pam is also entering. Or at least she entered last year. I'm sorry, but carving ice uh, parapets requires my undivided attention. Uh, yes, I can well imagine that, actually. The forest looks so beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? Everything looks beautiful in the winter. How's winter coming along for you, Avak? Wonderfully! I like winter. It's peaceful. I agree, Kent. We see eye to eye on this. If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. Well, you know, I'm sure Gus would entertain that if you asked him to. Hmm. <laughs> well, I've dragged me out into this cold for this. Oh, come on. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in this very festival. George, I remember saying this last year. Dude. We've become close over, over the last two years, but seriously, there is something you, you do. Man, that no. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. I like your snowman. What do you think of my snow goon? I like your snow goon. Sebastian's snow goon was destroyed, unfortunately. I'm not, not sure I like that. The snow's so cold, I can't feel my fingers anymore. Then stop sticking your fingers in the snow. Ah, stop, no, let me go, let me go. Why? Ah. Were you warming your hands on me? Damn it, I have had words with you about this. Snowmen are okay, I guess, but mostly I'm looking forward to the spring. Ah, that's fair enough. Everyone has their preference. And no preference is better than any other preference. I guess winter isn't all that bad. Playing in the snow can be fun. Hey, Pam. I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Mm, you're going to have stiff competition from me. I'm no slouch when it comes to fishing. Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? Uh... Hmm. Maybe. I, I think I remember this from last year as well. Wow, this snowman needs my, a makeover. Who made this? Uh, <laughs> uh, I did. Yeah, it's really bad. You'd think I'd be better, you know, married to an artist, but yeah. Got your back there, Clint. I want to give him a carrot nose! Hmm, what kind of snowman should we make? Uh, ca carrot nose, apparently. I guess maybe it's best to stick with the classics, huh? Uh, well, I mean, personally, I prefer the snow goon, honestly, but, you know, Jazz wants carrot nose, Jazz gets carrot nose. I really want to go in the igloo. Oh, my lord. The urge to go and find out what's inside is so incredibly, incredibly 
acute with me right now. You know what? You probably should have worn a jacket. Ah. I'm frankly amazed that I'm wearing this much. Usually, when there's snow around, I'm barefoot and like down to a t-shirt. If you're lucky, I'll wear something other than a t-shirt. Like, I don't know, shorts or something. Uh, no, generally, I go out in, in pants. Don't worry. I don't, I don't, don't streak naked through the snow. Yeah, maybe. Maybe when I'm old and I don't care about anything anymore. That seems to be what happens. As people like hit their, their like mid thirties, forties, fifties, it's like <laughs> I don't care anymore. What have I got to worry about? I'm like fifty. Ah, uh, there are some pros to uh, props to getting old, I suppose. Yes, I'll do my best. Uh, it's not going to be. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to beat you. Well, we'll see. Uh, Oh, that's that quiet confidence there. Mm. Mm. you got a trick up your sleeve. I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. Oh, don't worry. The animals that are outside in the winter usually are built for it. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Yeah, like, like heat. Heat is usually what puts my body under stress. Sorry, there's no food. Why? Did you eat her all, Gus? Did Shane eat Did you bring loads of pizzas and then Shane just devoured them all? I suspect this may be the case. No, I'm not going to restart Windows. Be gone, Windows 10. I saw a big fish down there. Good. I want this fishing spot. Hey, yeah, are you going to enter ice fishing competition? Why, yes. Oh, not me. I don't know how to fish. Oh, that's easy. You just <laughs> throw the rod in. Wait for something to bite. Pull it out. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. Man after my own heart, Sebastian. Alright, I've spoken to everyone, Melus. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. Actually, 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 let me just double check. Did I double check this last year as well? I don't remember. Rasmodius, are you hiding out here in the bushes? Rasmodius. There's a reason why you never really show up at the festivals because Caroline was your. your wife. Because that appears to be a prevailing theory on the comments that Caroline is the witch you spoke of. I mean, she's quite nice to me, but... Igloo buildings and art I picked up from the tundra dwellers who lived beyond the frozen sea. That was many years ago. Do you not like... Are you Rasmodius' ex-wife, Linus? Is that why you've built an igloo to prevent me from getting to talk to Rasmodius? Hmm... I'm not sure about this. Oh, the theories. Well, that looks like everyone I can talk to. Right. Well, it is time to get to the fishing. And to live up to my boast that I'm going to beat Willy. This is going to be the year where I fail. Highlight of today's festiv uh, festival is the ice fishing competition. We set this up uh, up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to continue. I am ready. Let us see what we can do. Alright, everyone, let's begin this year's ice fishing competition! Why do I not get to start next to a bl uh, Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch your fish here, from these holes, in this ice. Well, is everyone ready? Begin! And of course I have to start a million miles away from everything. I may be slightly exaggerating. What do we have here? Really lazy fish is what we have. Oh no, no! It, it sensed that I was about to call it lazy. And began to struggle. Too far. Too far again. That was very, very wasteful. Oh my lord. No! No! Jojo Matt, you scoundrels! You... Ugh. They rigged this contest! They're on the books! That's right, you just stay down here so I don't have to do much moving around. Thank you. No idea if I get any benefit from getting perfects or not. Personally, I think a perfect should count as two fish. But that's just me. Especially because I'm using this rickety old rod. No bait or anything. Okay, a minute is gone, I've only got three fish. This is bad. I wasted... Ugh. I wasted three casts 
And I've gotten three bits of garbage. It's the wasting of the casts that uh, hurts the most because it takes so much time. Though, that being said, the animation for pulling out the garbage takes a fair while as well. Where are you going? You're going up or you're going down? There we go. That one took a while. Uh, Willie, how many fish have you gotten? I, I wasn't paying attention to the fish that were popping up above your head. I worry that Willie's racing away with this contest. And I'm going to be left to look the fool because I boasted. That is a life lesson for you. Never boast. Even if you are fairly certain you're going to win, just remain quietly confident about it. Ah, uh, that was terrible. We're doomed. How are there four? There were already three. Oh, okay. Yeah, there, there were four people fishing. Wow, that's a lot of fish. smell. <laughs> you know, Willie, I think you're onto something about him not liking fish in the grange display. Now, for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. I'm back with six big slimy fish. Seriously, Lewis. I get that you don't like fish, but it's no. Here's your prize. Enjoy. What is it? 2,000 gold. Thank you. What? 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 I want to take my fish back with me. I can't believe I won. What? Yes, I can. Well, time to head home. It is well established that I am the fishing king of Pelican Town. There are not many other things. Well, actually, I'm also ridiculously... Okay, well, maybe I am actually the king of Pelican Town. I need a castle. I'll be a good king. A good and just king, I hope. I mean, I'd like to think I'm going to be a good and just king. I, I will implement all sorts of progressive programs to develop the lands of my people. Um, grab that as well. Move that up there. I will only tax them mildly. Only just enough to ensure that we have enough funds to, you know, hold the various royal banquets for foreign dignitaries. Because we've got to keep up appearances, you see. And, of course, we would need all of the money for the various festivals that we run. And then all of the schools. And the rebuilding of the windmill. And to pay a reasonable wage to all my peasant farmers. Because, you know... I'm not just going to have them only keep a little bit of the food that they farm. They can actually have a wage as well, so they can they can splash out on on some luxury items now and then. Keeps the peasants in line, you see. You've got to make the peasants love you. Because then when the war inevitably comes, and it always comes, they'll be willing to fight hard for you. It, it's, it's, it's a give-take relationship. Yes, they will be off. You know, fighting wars, in my name, finding grails, that sort of thing. Whatever kings need to tell their peasants and knights to do. But, on the plus side, when they do come home, it will be grand. We'll also have a national health system, so that when they come home with wounds from the wars, they can be taken care of. It's going to be a grand kingdom, I tell you now. Everyone's going to want to live in, in Evakia. Uh, what are we going to plan? We need lots of... Star fruit, um, the strawberries, all of the strawberries, and the cranberries, I think, as well, that I've got. Right, star fruit first. Let us get those down. I will also abolish the practice of forcing everyone to be abed by 2 p.m., otherwise, you get clubbed across the back of the head by some goons, and then dragged off to a quote unquote clinic where they rescue you and charge you lots of money for the, for, you know, the wound that they had to patch up on the back of your head caused by the goons. That is a horrible practice. Uh, any foreign dignitaries coming here and seeing that practice would just consider us barbarians. It would be it would be dark times, dark dark times. It's like on par with not allowing the peasants to read, in my opinion. There we go, and we're done. Awesome. Oh wait, I do have to go and check on one or two last things as well. Unfortunately, I've got to go and check up in the greenhouse. Uh, it's twelve forty. I might have enough time to gather all the produce. Maybe, if there's much to gather, which there isn't really. Oh well, 
I should really get some more star fruit. On that note, pop that in there. Um, actually, given the time, I'm going to leave that one, but we'll plant more star fruit around there, I think. Right, it's off the bed once I've dropped off this produce. Of course, most of the proceeds from this project is going to be going to the uh, starter fund for Avakia. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to expect everyone to just pitch in right off the get-go just because I say, say it's going to be great. I'm going to put a reasonable amount of starting capital into the kingdom. And that way everyone knows that I, I am fully committed to making this place grand. There we go. Eighth of Winter, Year 2. The foundation of Avakia. That's what this will be remembered in the history books. Wow, we made 50 grand. Okay, that can all go to the Avakia starting fund. 50,118 gold to begin. I think that's a reasonable amount, myself. Uh, let's see. We actually made a reasonable amount with pickled art artichokes, honestly. Though it would have been better with pickled pumpkins. Mm, yeah, we want to get more pumpkins in the greenhouse. Definitely want to get more pumpkins and melons, honestly. Okay, well, that's going to be it. For this episode, the Festival of Ice has been concluded. What have we got to look forward to? Shane's birthday, uh, sorry, Sebastian's birthday in two days. Shane's birthday, I think, has already been, only, well, it has to have already been in the year because this is the last season of the year. But it's a good old while, two weeks, two days before the Feast of the Winter Star. I am looking forward to that. We'll have to see how things go between now and then, though. Thank you very much for joining me, though. I hope you have enjoyed and will be joining me for that next. But until then, do take care, everyone.